Tonight, a major development in the homicide case of these two Moab women. Deputies in Grand County say after months of investigating, they've now officially named a suspect. But it's a bittersweet moment for the families of Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee has been following this story for the past two days in Moab. He joins us live tonight with the very latest. Brian. Bob and Kelly, good evening to you both. Just an emotional day here in Moab. For months, the community has been wanting answers on the unsolved murders of Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner. Well, today, some of those answers were made public and brought to light. The Grand County Sheriff's Office has identified 44-year-old Adam Pinkowitz as a suspect in the murders of Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner. The newlyweds were camping in the LaSalle Mountains. Their bodies were found with multiple gunshot wounds on August 18th of last year. Pinkowitz was a former employee at a McDonald's where Crystal Turner worked. Just outside of downtown Moab, where members of the community hung flyers, asking others for any information they can provide. The Sheriff's Office had learned that Mr. Pinkowitz was in the LaSalle's and Moab at the time of the homicides and had left the state of Utah shortly after the homicides. Pinkowitz had been identified early in the investigation as a person of interest. However, investigators were unable to locate him. GCSO conducted numerous interviews and recently received information that prior to committing suicide, Mr. Pinkowitz told another party that he had killed two women in Utah and provided details that were only specific to the investigators in the case. After they were able to locate his vehicle out of state, the Grand County Sheriff's Office learned he had committed suicide last September, roughly a month after the bodies of Kylan and Crystal were found. Nine months to get to this point and we're not done yet. The weapon used in the crime is yet to be recovered. I will feel better when we have a total closure on this, but it's a huge relief. The Sheriff's Office says they're continuing to process newly discovered evidence like Pinkowitz's vehicle, a 2007 Toyota Yaris. We've all missed something. There's something big that we're missing here. Yeah. Kylan's dad has been actively trying to solve this case. His private investigator and him worked to get Dog the Bounty Hunter involved. Hopefully, Dog shakes the tree and a really rotten apple falls out. Stay on it till we catch him. This is unbelievable. We are looking for the murderer of Crystal and Kylene. We're in Moab, Utah. We've already started developing leads. We think we know what kind of gun it was they were murdered with. Now listen, this is not a normal, is murder ever normal? Six shots apiece. We're gonna catch this guy or this girl or these guys. We got some really good information. Now, we need you to call 833-TELL-DOG, number one, large cash reward. I can't believe I picked up a clue on Adam Pincus in my clue booth in the park. I cannot believe it. The only other thing I can say is that I hope they can process the evidence and close the case. Under you.